Hey, boxing fans, welcome to another edition of the 8 Count Boxing Hour. This is your host, Dan Cisneros, and I'd like to thank everyone for joining us once again. It's a pleasure to bring you big time boxing here on Albuquerque's cable channel 27. Tonight's main event is for the Florida State Super Bantamweight title. It features Daryl Thunder P. Pinkney taking on the challenge of Hector Camacho's little brother, Felix Showtime Camacho. He's a flashy boxer, and uh, Pinkney's a real bomber, and this is, it should be a good match for the Florida State title. So right now, let's go up to ring announcer Bob Allen and get the intros on these two fighters. Okay, the action's underway now. These are Super Bantamweights. Felix Showtime Camacho in the red trunks with the white trim. His opponent, Daryl Thunder P. Pinkney in the black trunks with the white trim. Pinkney with a record of 11 wins, six defeats, and one draw. But all 11 of his wins are by knockout. So he's a real, like I said earlier, he's a real bomber. And he's gonna try to get uh, Felix Camacho out of there. On the other hand, Felix Showtime Camacho there you see him in the red trunks. He's a southpaw, he's really a boxer. He can move around the ring, very much like his brother Hector. But Felix trying to come out from under the shadow of Hector Camacho, feels he's a fine boxer in his own right. And he tries to get this Florida State uh, Super Bantamweight title here. He'd like to get the feeling of that gold around his waist before possibly moving on to a national title. You're watching the Eight Count Boxing Hour here on Community Cable Channel 27 in Albuquerque and Channel 10 public access in Rio Rancho, New Mexico. Right now, Felix Camacho trying to establish that jab. As I said before, he's a southpaw and he will lead with the right hand. He needs to keep that jab busy, keep uh, Pinckney off balance. He doesn't want Daryl Pinckney to be able to set up for those big bombs. His right hand is a real weapon. And Felix Camacho, I'm sure, has studied Pinckney on videotape and is very aware of the talents of Daryl Thunder P. Pinckney. This bout scheduled for 12, we're just underway now. It's the first round. Daryl Pinckney will rely on the knockout punch, but he needs to stay busy and try to score and win those rounds just in case he doesn't get the knockout. Felix Camacho is not easy to, to corner, and uh, I think Pinckney would, would be well advised to maybe go to the body, try to score some punches and win some of these rounds. Again, you see Felix Camacho now bouncing on his toes, keeping in that safe uh, range. Camacho, no doubt, with an edge in hand speed, but Daryl Pinckney's hand speed should not be underestimated. And there you see Pinckney now trying to get that counter shot on Camacho, who comes back with a good follow-up to the body. And that's about what Pinckney should be doing. If he can't score to the head, go downstairs. Dan Cisneros at ringside here. You're watching the eight count boxing hour. So there you see Pinckney now trying his own jab. And that ends the first round. So a good opening round, a little bit of action there. Both fighters doing something. Maybe Camacho staying a little bit busier, at least moving his hands more and Pinckney not able to land that big bomb. 
we're looking at Felix Showtime Camacho, and you can see the resemblance to his, his brother Hector. Felix Camacho coming in at 121 and a quarter, and there's a good little punch that kind of knocks Pinkney off balance, and comes, Camacho comes back with a little right hand. Uh, Felix Camacho weighing in at 121 and a quarter. Daryl Pinckney at 121 and a half. The weight limit for this title is 122, so both men uh, coming in in good shape, just a little bit under that weight limit for the, this title match here in the state of Florida. And there you see Camacho now trying to jab and follow it with that left hand. Pinckney with a shorter arm, so Camacho with a definite reach advantage and a little bit of a height advantage. So Daryl Pinckney needing to stay inside. He needs to get inside that jab, maybe do a little dipsy do under the, underneath the jab and get inside. And of course, Felix Camacho will try to stay on the outside of the ring. He'll control all the outer perimeter of the ring. That'll be his territory to move around and keep Pinckney off balance. Felix Camacho walking that, doing that high wire act between uh, avoiding the bombs of his opponent and doing a little bit of scoring on his own. And now you see both men exchanging, Pinckney just coming up short. And I figure as the bout goes on, he will probably close in. There's the one that lands by Pinckney now. I think uh, eventually Daryl Pinckney's shots should start to close in on his target. And Felix Camacho is really going to have to be on the alert. Daryl Pinckney with all 11 of his victories by the way of knockout. So if he gets to you, he will hurt you. Again, Pinckney trying to close the range on Camacho, and Felix Camacho very aware of what he needs to do. He seems to be really sticking to his fight plan so far. Jabbing and moving, staying on the outside and trying to get in there. There's a little bit of a slapping right hand. That's one of the knocks on Felix Camacho. Sometimes he slaps with his right hand and his left, and uh, he needs to really get his body behind him and, and throw him with a little bit more power. He has six knockouts in his 11 wins, but Felix really not known as a knockout puncher. Oh, and now Felix Camacho catching Pinckney with some good little shots there. You can see Daryl Pinckney, the look on his face. He's concentrating hard. Oh, and he just misses. And look at Camacho with his hands down. Slip sliding out of trouble. And that ends the second round. So we go right into the action now. The third round. This is about scheduled for 12. This is for the Florida State Super Bantamweight or you can call it junior featherweight title, 122 pound title for the state of Florida. The winner of this match walks out with the gold around his waist. And you're looking at Felix Camacho in the red trunks and his opponent, Daryl Pinckney in the black trunks. So far this bout going pretty much according to what most experts felt would happen. Felix Camacho trying to control the outside of the ring using his jab and hand speed, and Daryl Pinckney trying to counter with the big shots. Maybe not staying as busy, but hoping to do more damage with each punch landed. Felix Camacho, a real cutie in the ring. He likes to move around and put those little moves on. He's what they call in boxing a cutie. He's not a, he's not a real brawler, but he tries to do those cute little moves and quick hands and fast feet, much like his brother. I guess it runs in the family. Of course, Hector Camacho, a legendary world champion, and uh, his brother Felix trying to follow in his footsteps. Daryl Pinckney really not staying that busy, and I'm sure Felix Camacho doesn't mind one bit. The less punches Pinckney throws, the less danger Camacho is in, and he'd be real content to stand there and pose with uh, Daryl Pinckney in the black trunks.
Pinckney was a very highly touted amateur fighter, and he came into the pros with a, with a big bang, but uh, his record a little bit up and down with the six losses, and he's now back on track and looking for this state title. Felix Camacho with the little, the little curl hanging in front, just like his brother Hector. The two are, uh, are <laughs> they could be, con you, could, you would think this was, you're watching Hector Camacho right here on the eight count boxing hour. We're in the third round, we're scheduled for 12 here. And there you see a little slapping right hand again from Felix Camacho. And Daryl Pinckney would just love to get in there and land that big shot and turn this fight around. Pinckney is applying the pressure but not scoring. And uh, aggressiveness won't usually win you the round. It's gotta be effective aggressiveness. That aggressiveness has gotta pay off with some scoring shots. The bell ends the third round, so we go into the fourth round here. Scheduled for four. Hector, or excuse me, Felix Camacho doing the scoring. And Daryl Pinckney putting on the pressure. We go right into round four now. Nightmare D written on the trunks of Daryl Pinckney. He goes by two nicknames, Thunder P and Nightmare P. Nightmare D, excuse me. And uh, he's got a few nicknames, but, but Daryl Pinckney, oh, and he takes a little right slapping shot again from Felix. Camacho scoring with those little shots. They're not hurting Pinckney. Now Pinckney comes in with a combination of his own as he gets Felix on the rope now. And when Felix is on the ropes, he's in danger. And Daryl Pinckney taking advantage now, doing some scoring. And you can see Felix Camacho come out of that combination, coming out of that flurry with a look of uh, uh, just a little bit of anxiety on his face. Daryl Pinckney now setting, setting up for the counter punch. Good boxing by Daryl Pinckney. Uh, when he had Camacho on the ropes, he jumped on him, and when Camacho slipped off those ropes, Pinckney stood back and set up for the counter-punching. So Daryl Pinckney is a pretty complete boxer. Both of these men are very highly skilled. And now you see Pinckney doing a little fancy moving of his own, so... <laughs> Daryl Pinckney giving Felix Camacho a taste of his own medicine. Again, you see Felix Camacho with those flurries, but he's missing there, coming up short. So Daryl Pinckney starting to, to kind of get into the rhythm of this fight. It took him a while, but he's starting to come on strong. And again, the, the book on these two, the edge and power has to go to Daryl Pinckney, and the hand speed and foot movement is expected to be in the column of Felix Showtime Camacho in the red trunks. We hope you're enjoying this bout. This is a Florida State title match, and I hope you'll stay tuned because at, right after this bout, we've got something wild that you've got to see to believe. Another one of those crazy moments in boxing. And I'm not gonna tell you too much about it, but stay tuned, you're gonna really get a kick out of that. But right now, we're looking at the Florida State Super Bantamweight title. And Daryl Pinckney now going to work on Camacho. Daryl Pinckney can really be a freight train when he wants to be, once he gets inside. But again, Felix Camacho, very slippery, hard to keep him on the ropes. Both men look like they're in tremendous shape for this fight. They're really in top shape. They wanted to win this Florida State uh, Super Bantam title. It's a good stepping stone towards a national or world title. This is just the opportunity that a fighter like Daryl Pinckney uh, can really take advantage of with the 11 wins and the six defeats. His record is not real flashy, but if he gets that title belt around his waist, that will really give him consideration for uh, title challenges, bigger title challenges. So the fourth round is over now. We head for round five. Pretty good matchup here. Both men doing some good things. Maybe Felix Camacho getting off to the quick start and Daryl Pinckney starting to come on. Hector Camacho on the red trunks, continuing to move. He has uh, not fallen into the trap of trading with Daryl Pinckney. And uh, Felix Camacho really looking 
like he has the experience, probably picking up a lot from his brother Hector. And now Pinkney going to work. He gets a hold of he gets a hold of Camacho and just starts to bang on the body. Pinkney really serious now about damaging his opponent Felix Camacho. And Felix very calmly just kind of steps away and moves side to side. That southpaw style from Felix Camacho might be giving a little bit of trouble to Pinkney, but but Daryl Pinkney doing the right thing. He's throwing right hands, and they say that's what you need to, to beat a southpaw style. And now you see Pinkney coming into the body, and he comes back with that uppercut. Now Felix Camacho covering up, and Camacho tries to fire back with a little uppercut, lands a good left hand, and slips out. So Daryl Pinkney, when he gets the uh, chance to do some scoring, he really takes advantage of it and gets busy. And now you see Daryl Pinckney just kind of bobbing and weaving, doing a little bit of that Joe Frazier style. He was just, just trying to find a way to get in there and, and just really hurt Camacho and slow him down. And Felix Camacho in great shape. And he probably knew in his, during his training camp that, that conditioning would be the key to this fight because you could expect Daryl Pinckney to come in with the, the high pressure attack. And there you see Pinkney trying the uppercut and Camacho trying to counter. There's a jab from Camacho. And I think we should see a little bit more of that jab. Camacho now with a double jab, steps out to the right. And Daryl Pinkney, you can see him. Oh, and there's a good shot from Pinkney. A right hand lands on Camacho. And that really wakes the crowd up. And you see Felix Camacho dodging the shots and, and then makes Pinkney run into a little very quick slapping combination. And there you see Pinckney again coming in behind the jab and throwing that big right hand to the body. Daryl Pinckney, a very dangerous fighter. And there you see him banging to the body. Daryl Pinckney doing some real fine work to the body here. Camacho trying to catch Pinckney coming in. This bout scheduled for 12. And that ends the round. So round six about ready to start. And we had some good action from Daryl Pinckney in that last round. Daryl Pinckney really picking up the pace here, scoring much more often. He started kind of slow, but he's really been coming on. Felix Camacho, very steady. He's just like he was in the first round. Stick and move. The man they call Showtime, Felix Camacho, bringing that 11 and one record with six knockouts. Felix Camacho had a very impressive victory over the brother of former world champion Billy Costello. That was Vinny Costello. That fight took place on USA Network, and uh, it was a surprising victory for Showtime Camacho. That really, really boosted him up into the uh, national attention. Of course, being the brother of Hector Camacho won't hurt either, but, but Felix uh, really starting to impress on his own now, and he's, he's really doing a, a good job of staying away from the dangerous punches of uh, Daryl Pinckney. And there you see Camacho now landing a good right hand. Daryl Pinckney though continuing to stalk, continuing to put the pressure on. Mini version of Ali Frazier or uh, Leonard Duran we're looking at right here. You've got your stalker, the brawler, taking on the very slick boxer. Again, now Daryl Pinckney coming in with the left hand, so he, he's trying it from all angles. Daryl Pinckney really impressing tonight here. Both men now trying to exchange on the inside. Neither one really getting the edge in that last flurry. And now you see Camacho coming in with that jab. Camacho again with the jab and the follow-up. He should really stay busy because Pinkney just can't set up for that big wind-up bomb of his <laughs> like that as long as uh, Camacho's throwing that jab in there. But when Camacho slows down, that's when Pinkney builds up a little bit of a head of steam. 
and comes in, and I'm telling you, he's really dangerous. And now you see Camacho landing with a little combination. Really not much power behind those punches of Felix Camacho, but he is scoring, and that's the name of the game. Uh, when you have his style, you've got to outscore your opponent. Oh, and Pinkney lands a good, solid right hand. But Camacho, give him credit, he's taking it. He's not, he's not crumbling from the power punching of Daryl Pinkney. Of course, Pinkney should try to put together about two or three of those. And that ends the round, another good round, a hard one to score. This is gonna be a wild decision for the judges if it goes all the way at this pace. Neither man really in full control of this fight. Pretty much a matter of what do you like? Do you like the slick boxing or the, the aggressive pressure being put on by Daryl Pinckney? So round seven about ready to get underway here. We're at the Tampa Civic Center in Tampa, Florida. This is the Florida State Super Bantamweight title match. Daryl Pinckney in the black trunks. Felix Showtime Camacho in the red trunks. You're watching the eight count boxing hour and Felix Camacho goes down from a slip. He slipped down, there was no punch, not a knockdown. He gets his gloves wiped and the bout's back underway. Camacho really slip sliding around this ring. And now Daryl Pinckney, when he gets him on the ropes, when he gets Camacho on the ropes, tries to go to work, but Camacho, very aware of it, slips out and comes back with some jabs now. And Pinckney with a right hand as Camacho is throwing his flurry. And there you see Felix Camacho doing the matador, kind of stepping to the side and watching Pinckney go right, <laughs> charging by. And now Camacho lands a good combination right there, ending it with the right hand. And there you saw Pinckney dip down and come back with that left to the body. Again, Pinckney now doing a little bit of that juking and jiving around the ring, those little feints, and he's starting to score on Camacho now. Some pretty heavy scoring on the part of uh, Daryl Pinckney. Again, Pinckney trying to land that left to the body. He must have uh, saw something there because all of a sudden he got real busy with that left to the body. And you can see the look on Daryl Pinckney's face, just pure determination to get to Camacho. He knows that a victory over Camacho would look real good on his ledger, on his record. And uh, in the, you know, in professional boxing, once you get to that level, you're looking to impress promoters. You wanna get the call for future fights and Daryl Pinckney really working hard here for that Florida State title. And both men now scoring heavily. Camacho with a little bit of power on his own part. So the two trading very evenly. Both men scored some good solid shots right there. And Pinckney with that wind up goes in there for strike one. But you can see Felix Camacho continuing to move. He de definitely does not want to just stand flat footed and trade with Daryl Pinckney. Why should he? He's a great boxer. He's using his boxing skills. And there you see Camacho again with the flurry and then he steps out. And Camacho ends the round with a flurry. So both men exchanged heavily in that round. We're about ready to get into round number eight. This bout is scheduled for 12. And there you see Camacho trying with that jab and then following with the left hand. Daryl Pinckney slowing down just a little bit, but he should get it going here. He tries the left counter punch and misses. Camacho scores with those little pity pat punches of his, but uh, Felix Showtime Camacho building up the points. The Camachos with a real big following in, in Florida. Of course, the two are Puerto Rican, uh, Hector and Felix, the Puerto Rican brothers 
and they're very popular in the Miami area, but they've got a lot of fans throughout Florida, and uh, they come to see him fight whenever they're in action. Of course, Hector Camacho is, is a former world champion, and he's, you know, he's a big event when he fights. And Daryl Pinckney himself out of Hollywood, Florida now, where he trains, and, and uh, that's where he's based for his fighting. Bringing his stable mates, and I'm sure uh, plenty of a uh, cheering section for Daryl Pinckney in the black trunks as well. Again, Daryl Pinckney is really letting Camacho dictate when they're gonna mix it up, and I think Daryl Pinckney should just really get more aggressive and keep that space real close between he and uh, Camacho. But it seems like he's waiting for Camacho to start the attack and then Pinckney trying to catch him. And there you saw it again, Pinckney trying to set, oh, and a good solid left hand on the chin by Felix Camacho. That really knocked Pinckney's head back. Daryl Pinckney now starting to slow down a little bit. Looked like that left hand really took a little something out of him. Again, Camacho with those fast hands, trying to keep Daryl Pinckney off balance and doing a good job of it. And there you see Camacho as he started to feel the ropes to his back, he just slips out to the side. And there's Camacho with a good uppercut and now follows it with some jabs and a left hand. Felix Camacho doing some good boxing. You see Daryl Pinckney breathing out of his mouth. So maybe Daryl Pinckney needs to get his second wind right now. He's kind of slowed down in this round. A good round for Felix Camacho. Felix really impressing here with some real nice boxing. There you see him with a series of left hands. And again, Felix continuing to work with that jab. Smart move on his part. If you get a little bit tired, just stick that jab out there. Now you see Pinckney trying to get in there and go to the body, but Camacho moving around. Real nice <laughs> defensive movement by Felix Camacho. Good round for the showtime. The, the man who calls himself Showtime, that is, Felix Camacho. So we go into round nine now. This bout scheduled for 12. This is the Florida State Super Bantamweight title match. Dan Cisneros here at ringside for you on Community Cable Channel 27's Eight Count Boxing Hour. Both men just kind of taking a rest. There was a lot of work in that last round. Felix Camacho maybe feeling that it's time to rest his, his hands a little bit. But there you see him scoring and he connects with a good left hand and Pinckney unable to get that counter in there. Daryl Pinckney much more of a counter puncher and I think he would be doing better if he would initiate the attack and put more pressure on coming in real offensive against Camacho because if you let Felix Camacho get started he can really make you pay so both men kind of faking and neither man wanting to go for the bait Pinckney now trying to get in there with that right hand. Daryl Pinckney has landed some real nice hard shots, but, but Felix Camacho staying busier and really not taking much punishment here in this ninth round. You can see that Felix Camacho is kind of getting into the rhythm of this fight. He started to pick it up here, uh, starting with that last round, and he's starting to gain more confidence Pinckney's gonna need to get in there and land something heavy and bring Felix back down to his level. Oh, and there it is, a big right hand, and you see the shuffle from Camacho. Daryl Pinckney surprises Felix Camacho with a solid right hand, and Felix doing that little Camacho shuffle. I think that means he felt it because he, he definitely reacted to it, but he's clear, he's not, he's not staggering or going down. Felix Camacho in great shape for this fight.
Both men now winging it. Camacho coming back with that right jab. And Daryl Pinckney just kind of lowers his head and throws that overhand right. And there's that little weak left hand. Daryl Pinckney just, just uh, seems to be running out of steam. But he's still dangerous, landing that left hand there, but it didn't move Camacho very much. There you see Pinckney now coming back with a right hand and Camacho with a counter right at the bell. So we're, this fight going to round 10, but we're gonna jump ahead and we're gonna move right into the final round now. This is gonna decide a very close match. We now move into the final round, round 12 of this bout. This is for the super bantamweight title of the state of Florida. Daryl Pinckney in the black trunks, Felix Showtime Camacho, the final round now. Rounds 10 and 11, very close. Uh, Daryl Pinckney may be picking up a little more uh, maybe catching a second win and getting busier. And Camacho just really like a clock, just staying at the same pace throughout the match from bell to bell. It's a real close match. I would give the edge, slight edge to Camacho, but uh, Daryl Pinckney doing enough to make it close. And uh, if he can get through this round, it could be a very interesting decision. Again, you see Pinckney with both hands trying to get in there and connect on his very slippery opponent, Felix Showtime Camacho. Pinckney just not letting his hands go. He tries a right hand there. And Felix Camacho sticking to the game plan, stick and move. Throw the jab, an occasional hard shot, and just stay out of danger. Very similar style to his brother. Daryl Pinckney has all of his 11 wins by knockout, and I'm sure he was hoping to make this number 12, but he's running out of time, and he's gonna have to do something quick here if he wants to score a knockout. Daryl Pinckney with the pressure. He's been putting the pressure on, and right there is where he wants to get Felix Camacho on the ropes, and he hammers on the body. Felix Camacho, however, with some good defensive work. Look at that. Really moving around, making Pinckney miss. That's got to be frustrating. And Felix Camacho really putting on a display of defense here. And he's continuing to move around the ring. He has good legs for all 12 rounds, so Felix Camacho really, really in top shape for this fight. And it may serve him well, but Daryl Pinckney, on the other hand, continuing to move forward, looking for that big shot. Nightmare D, Daryl Pinckney, coming in with a combination now, comes up a little short. And uh, Camacho with his hands up high, even though he's a kind of a show-off type boxer, he is keeping his hands pretty high there, protecting his chin, well-schooled, and it's a good move on his part. So time running out now, both men continuing to throw shots throughout the fight. Pinckney with that one last charge here, trying to corner Felix Camacho. Camacho with his hands up, tries to slap with that right hand again. There's a good combination, a flashy combo from Felix Camacho, and he knocks the mouthpiece out of the mouth of Daryl Pinckney. Felix Camacho at the bell. The bout goes all 12 rounds. So this bout's gonna go to the to the judges, the scorecard of the three judges. And let's go up to ring announcer Bob Allen. Applause for Daryl Pinkney and Felix Camacho for a hard fought round. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. They will. Judge Tony Palermo scores at 115-113. Judge Dan Rangevich scores at 117-111 for Camacho. And Judge Frank Skillbrand scores at 116-112. For the winner by split decision, the new Super Bantamweight Champion of Florida, Felix Schoenberg.
So Felix Camacho gets the nod from two of the three judges. A hard fought match, very close, but the winner and new Florida State champion, Felix Showtime Camacho, here on the eight count.